Here we go again, uh, another school shooting. There's been many this year already uh, so far. What were your feelings when you, when you hear, uh, you know, this yet again, I suppose? Well, sadly, as soon as it occurred, I tweeted out, I don't usually do predictions because nobody's kept to their predictions, but I predicted, sadly, uh, what came to pass, which is that we will find out that this individual had a track record. He were, was disturbed and there were signs that should have been picked up, but they weren't for various reasons of political correctness or school administrators weren't prepared to take the requisite action. Just as happened at the Parkland shooting with that young man who had 26 engagements with law enforcement before he killed his fellow students. This individual had a history of self-harm. He was deemed to be unusual, peculiar by his colleagues. And then on social media, on Facebook, he said, I'm going to go and shoot up this school. So again, a massive failure for the system. Guns don't shoot people, other people shoot people. And uh, the system failed once again to find this individual and deal with him psychiatrically or through the law enforcement system. And it is, it is a horrific tragedy as a result. No doubt it's a horrific uh, tragedy, but, but isn't the system failing in the sense that, you know, this is an 18-year-old kid who can't go out and buy a beer, but he can go out and buy two AR-15s that clearly can kill. It, isn't that the failure system, that this, that this guy's allowed, this 18-year-old is allowed to buy such deadly weapons? Not at all. In, in Walkershaw recently, a black extremist ran down 60 people, including dozens of grannies, and killed a six-year-old boy with his car. So it, don't concentrate on the inanimate object. If you're a psychopath, you will kill people with whatever you want to kill people with, whether it is an SUV or whether it's a gun, a brick, or a knife. The fact isn't the weapon. The fact is the individual who has the intent to kill his fellow man, or in this case, children. So, no, the, the, this Second Amendment right we have is non-negotiable. We are an independent nation because of our access to guns. That's why it is the Second Amendment to our Constitution in the Bill of Rights. So, no, the, there are more than 300 guns in America for very good reason, because, because we are the fine, final, ultimate arbiter of our freedom. We are not subjects of a crowd. We are citizens. So d don't blame mental illness on one of our inalienable rights to defend ourselves. Well, then what's, then that leads to question, what's wrong with Americans? Are, 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 you, are you guys just a bit mad? I mean, I, I don't get it, because you're right, there's lots of other countries that've got lots of other guns, but we don't see mass shootings, particularly in schools, on anywhere the same well, level. What, what's, what's so wrong with American much, society? That's a much, much deeper question that we could discuss for at least an hour here on your show. I think the left's assault on faith the left's assault on manhood, on families, on nuclear families, on the role of positive male role models for young men. And on top of that, the 1973 Supreme Court decision, which was a catastrophe that said you cannot institutionalize somebody with psychiatric problems beyond 72 hours unless they are actually physically harming themselves, means the streets of New York, Baltimore, even here in Washington, D.C., are full of psych people who should be in psych wards who are now homeless because they've been kicked onto the streets because that's the sensitive thing to do. And it's the same with young men. You, you see a track record again and again and again of young, disturbed individuals who should be in a home, who should be institutionalized. Instead, they're hopped up on drugs, on Ritalin and other prescription drugs, and they're just allowed to live in the community the, until they find a way to but, exercise their yeah. psychosis. So no, but the, the, problem, the, problem with though, the problem with that, though, Sebastian, is that many of the, the, the ills that you talk about there, I mean, they, they are applicable in, in much of Western uh, Europe. Um, you know, some of the difficulties that young people face or, indeed, uh, you know, the mental... Clearly, the mental difficulties some people face, you know, that, that's universal. I wouldn't suggest that is a distinctly American problem. The but, not, but you don't have a Supreme Court decision like we do. No, no, I know, I know but that, that, UK, that, that's, that's perfectly fine. That's, that's what I'm trying to work out. But fundamentally, you, you put forward a narrative here. So my narrative is there is either two things here. Either Americans are exceptional in their cruelness to a degree or, or their inability to deal with some of the things that you've talked about. I'm not entirely sure that's the case. The other explanation is that people far too easily, easily, I'm not 
I'm not talking about the Second Amendment here, far too easily have access to guns. There's not been a gun death in, in this city that I'm sat in, in London, since November of last year. I mean, I try to think of the number deaths? of people who've died. How, and, and that, frankly, deaths? is down to, Sebastian, that must be down to access to guns, the ease with which people can access guns, surely. How, how many knife deaths in London in the last year? Um, still, not, not, not anywhere on the same level that you'd see in a comparable city like New York in the United no, States. You, can, you, you, you can't answer, right? So it's not, it's not the inanimate object, OK? It's the intent. And also, you know, the, I've been very, very clear here, we have no way to stop psychotic individuals from harming other people for more than 72 hours. That's not, I grew up in England. I was born in West London. That, that's not the case. You have mental institutions where if somebody is threatening their family members or themselves, they can be institutionalized for the safety of the UK. That is not the case in America since 1973 three and a politically correct liberal decision out of the Supreme Court that says, no, 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 you can't do that. That's against the human rights of that individual. Well, that's how you get an 18 year old person killing 18 children in a school because they knew this was a self harming. This is an individual who was cutting his face. OK, that normal people don't cut their face and then brag about going to shoot their grandmother. They should have been in a home. That's what should have happened, and it didn't happen, and that's why we have grieving families in Uvalde today. OK, uh, Sebastian, uh, just, just for clarity's sake, um, there were essentially, in terms of knife crime, it's pretty comparable. 2019, there were 76 homicides attributed to knife in New York, exactly the same number as London. Uh, I'm, that is not the same when it comes uh, to gun deaths, unfortunately, in those, two, in those two incidents. America. And New York has got and, and, actually and more gun controls than most of the United States. Handguns are banned in New York. It's just a little fact for you. Welcome to the GB News YouTube channel. You can watch us live 24 hours a day, catch up on your favourite shows, and join in the conversation in the comments below. Don't forget to subscribe and you'll never miss any of our exclusive content.